you very much for, for agreeing to take part in this series of interviews. If I could just start by asking you to introduce yourself, you know, your name, where you work. Well, my name is Maria Varama. I'm from Finland. I'm working at the National Institute for Welfare and Health as your Assistant Director General. And I'm head of the Division for Welfare and Health Policies and Economics. Fantastic. And um, so in, in, in uh, your, your area of work around long-term care, how would you define long-term care? Because, you know, it can be defined very differently in different countries. So just so that we've got an idea of which user groups we're thinking about and, and which services. Well, we, long-term care, uh, care in Finland involves, includes all the care which is given per, uh, to people in permanent need of uh, help. So home care, home health, uh, respite care, different uh, uh, care forms, uh, service housing, nursing homes, and uh, this uh, regards uh, uh, both older persons, persons with uh, disabilities and then uh, long-term ill children and adults. Thank you. And so now thinking about the, the, the Finnish long-term care system, what would you say in your view are the three top policy priorities that concern government and the stakeholders in long-term care in Finland? I think that the, as everywhere else, the financial uh, pressure is the first concern, how to finance that uh, increase in demand. Second is the quality concern, how to provide good quality care with uh, shrinking resources. And third is uh, maybe the client's position there and this affordability. So would you say that these are long-standing uh, concerns or are some of them really uh, relatively recent concerns? Well, I think that this uh, cost concern started uh, uh, during those uh, years of great de uh, depression Finland had early 90s. And since that, this has been at the stake in the discussion, so the financial burden. And the, this, uh, uh, I think that after that, uh, the quality uh, discussion has been also increasing, so we have a like, both there in the discussion. Very good. And um, so do you see those, those challenges remaining for the foreseeable future, say five, ten years? Are they still, uh, you know, the, those things that we're going to be worrying about in long-term care in Finland in the near future? I think that they, uh, they will be remain the worry, but a lot is also done for that. And there are a lot of uh, changes in the whole care system and uh, ways of providing care, introducing the quality programs and, and supporting people more and more living at home and in their own communities. So if, if now imagine you are um, you know, a dictator, a benevolent dictator, and you could introduce one policy in long-term care, which one do you think you would go for? supporting people living at home, so changing the whole uh, housing policy so that it makes uh, barrier-free environments and housing and, and bringing the services and care there. Okay, so you, it's partly about changing housing regulations and partly about uh, increasing, focusing services in the community? Yeah, I think that it's uh, uh, taking the concept of uh, ambient assistant living seriously, that is the integrated care and barrier and very free environments and, and this way. Great. And so now that was in terms of policy priorities, but from a research point of view, which in your view are those questions or that question that you would like you know, to answer from a research point of view? What's the outstanding piece of research that needs to be done in order to help the long-term care funding, uh, long-term care Finnish system move forward? I think that the basic issue is because we talk about the efficiency gap, I think that the research has a big challenge of developing a proper efficiency measures, so proper outcome measures and, and, and proper and, and they, must, they must be related to quality of life of the of the client, of the other persons and the families. Thank you very much. So now I'm going to ask you five uh, quick questions. Uh, and basically what I'm asking you is to rate on a scale from one, which would be the worst, to ten, the, the, the best. Um, your views on, on, for example, how much of a policy priority is long-term care in, in Finland? At this moment, hot topic, really hot topic. We are getting a new legislation, uh, a municipal election is coming, it's a hot topic. So that would be a... The highest now at this moment. <laughs> Ten, very good. <laughs> um, well, in your view, 
people in, in, in Finland, are they aware of what the long-term care system can offer them and people with long-term care needs? I think that there is a lot of discussion in the public, uh, in, in the media, about the long-term care, but this maybe is not so informative, more, mainly on the shortcomings. Uh, we have a, an, a, a goal to, to talk to people on their own languages, and the municipalities really are trying to, to provide the information which is uh, uh, accessible for everybody in, in a way, easy way. So I think there is work to do, but it's increasing. And if you had to give it a rating, I know it's difficult. Oh, that was the rating, yeah. Okay, uh, maybe it's somewhere in the middle. Okay. And um, if you then had to uh, you know, put a mark, a rating on how well the system is supporting people with long-term uh, needs? Well, I would say six, seven. Six, seven. And what about their carers? Carers? Yes. Uh, Finland is good in that, but not good enough. I would say maybe same, six, seven or... Somebody could say less, but... <laughs> and the final now, uh, in terms of integrating health and social care, how well is that working in Finland? We are good. In that sense, we are good. Maybe if we compare to other countries, we maybe are somewhere there in eight, but uh, talking inside what we want in Finland, we are maybe somewhere in uh, five. Very good. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.